Hello, today is Friday the 5th of November and in today's video we're going to run through several US stocks, some that are heading up very, very well and heading up strongly and others that are struggling to hold on to some price levels. So in no particular order, we'll get started with Goldman Sachs. Now Goldman Sachs in the last week has achieved a new all-time high. Uh, you can see it's moved very, very well over the last 18 months. Interestingly enough, I'll just put a little line in here right around, uh, what's that, $420. So right around there, we can see how a few months ago it ran into, well, moved very, very strongly to move up to an all-time high at that time and just stopped short of 420. Nice little doji candlestick, that one right there, uh, leading to the reversal. Very good reversal pattern here, these two bars here. And moving up again, rallying very strongly, good uh, pin bar, sort of tweezer top candlestick here, but run, running into resistance again at around $420 for several days in a row, fell away again, and now has had another run at it. The positive is it has been able to stick its head above that level, although it has been sold off just recently. So that resistance looks like it's standing up fairly tall and standing firm at the moment. It did pop its head above that a little bit, but was very quickly sold off when it got towards 425. So does it have another run at it? Does it get through again and maintain that break and then begin a new range above $420 and use the last few months of uh, trading as a base uh, for higher prices to come? Another one is McDonald's, a name familiar to many. Uh, this has also moved very well, you know, in the last uh, 18 months or so, but it has had large periods of moving sideways. So here, maybe trading within a $10 range uh, and a $200 plus stock, $10 is not a huge range. And again, more recently, but it has just in the last uh, week or so moved up to again, another all time high. So just uh, moving well, uh, popping up, you know, does it sort of come back and retest that $250 level? Nice round number, multiple of $50. It certainly hit here and was rejected. Come back through, stopped traded through, got rejected again, traded up and has finally broken through. So it'd be interesting to see if it maintains that break above 250 or falls back below and that 250 level continues to provide some resistance and put downward pressure uh, on higher prices or on the price. Next is Microsoft. It has also moved very well, uh, certainly more than the last 18 months, has just obviously had this fall through here when the pandemic was announced, but since then has just continued to move. Just an extraordinary uh, price rise again, several times or almost every day through this move, many people would have said, oh, I can't, bo can't move much higher than this. Look how far it's moved already, yet it continues to move higher. So yes, it's had a fairly strong run here over the last month or so, you know, it is highly likely to retrace at some point in the near future, just to ease off a little bit. But if that trend is true and, you know, there's still continuously new buyers coming in, then, you know, you can only expect higher prices to come. Just an extraordinary rise and just continues to move higher. Uh, Nike has also in the last week, well, in the last day or so, achieved a new all-time high. But I see this very differently to, say, the Microsoft chart. Microsoft just continues to move higher and continue to achieve new highs. And even though this has achieved a new high, it's not dissimilar in price to this last turning point just here, what, uh, two or three months ago. So it had a rapid rise up here, got to this point for no other reason, just selling overwhelmed su uh, supply, overwhelmed demand, push prices lower. This was an all-time high at the time. It's fallen, moved up again, got to that level again, and just sort of poked its head above. So will the selling, you know, come back in again and uh, overwhelm the demand for and the buying and push price down lower again? Uh, I, again, I, I see when we talk in terms of probability and analysis, I see Microsoft as having a better chance of continuing to move high, whereas this has just got this little bit of baggage here that it needs to uh, account for and deal with before it's able to continue uh, to push higher. Another is United Health, uh, also achieved an all-time high in the last week. And, you know, like so many others, just continues to move very well. It has also moved in this sort of trading range here of around $30, 390 to 420 for maybe six months there, just moved back and forth. 
and has been able to finally push through there. Maybe it has another little run in it like this, you know, two to three months and then goes sideways again. So as it seems to have done quite a few times, has a nice run, move sideways, perhaps another push sideways, push higher sideways, and maybe we're just seeing, you know, maybe we're halfway through, maybe just seeing the beginning of another push higher, although it has just sort of slowed up here in the last uh, week or so. Here's a stock we've covered uh, on more than one occasion previously, and that's the Walt Disney Company, Disney, which is the opposite, certainly not achieving all-time highs. But at the moment, continuous to apply pressure on this black line here. It's almost as if everyone is watching this black line as if you just zoom in right here in the last two or three weeks, just continues to bounce off that level. But notice the movement higher is nothing significant. There's no you know rapid sort of pushback up something like this back here or here, it's really quite subdued, just continues to maintain pressure on that uh, 168 level and applying a lot of downward pressure. The support, having having said that, to its credit, is standing firm and the demand is staying there and propping this stock up. But you can only picture if it was eventually able to make a break through here. Yes, it might rally back up again, but it might just be the the trigger, uh, the catalyst that you know leads to a perhaps a further... Uh, movement down it's certainly doing well to sort of just hang on there for a little while next is 3m uh, similar uh, just moving down and just tr sort of trying to hang on to uh, some levels if you notice the current level right around 180 there's been a lot of price activity around that 180 you know turning point here certainly a lot of congestion here and resistance here and more recently did find a bit of support there and it's just staying around that level so again if it was to push lower again it might just you know fill in some of the gap here or it may bring a rally back up but just a bit of an interesting one uh sort of in a bit of no man's land uh, at the moment unlike some of the others that are clearly achieving new highs or sort of on the precipice of just about to collapse and fall down uh, verizon is something very similar where just in the last you know six months or so it's had a pretty slow steady decline strong fall here did well to rally back up from around 51 dollars but right now it's sort of again testing that level and it has fallen strongly bounced back up again off that 51 dollar level uh, will that support at 51 continue another one is citigroup similar where it's uh pushing down on similar levels right now around the 66 dollar level so it's, it's hit that level several times in the last few months bouncing off bouncing off done it again and it's just moving back down to that level here at around 66 66 dollars so what does it do does it bounce off it again and find some support and move higher and have a nice little rally back up to sort of above 70 or does it finally break through and move down to lower levels uh, global payments hasn't moved particularly well in the last uh, six months or so. They may even be an all-time high that it's fallen from. So certainly moving uh, very strongly lower. And just in the last uh, week or so has had some, you know, gapping, uh, gap down on open and pushing down to what's that? Um, certainly more than around an 18-month low and potentially testing this level back down here at 110 if it was to that's the obviously the pandemic announcement and the drop which so many stocks did experience if it was to come back down and test that level well that's down at 110 so potentially there is a bit of downside if this strong decline is to continue we have mentioned this one before newmont mining you can see my black line in there at 54 dollars so we've seen this level or this level provide a lot of support and see the price bounce off it on several occasions again here earlier in the year and more recently just almost sitting physically sitting on that level or right around that level over the last few months so it's been able to rally back up reverse here come back down to 54 and bounce off again but how long does that support stay there for how long does it able to prop it up and keep price um, above that level potentially if it was to finally break through significantly rally back up and retest that level likely to see some resistance at that level where you could see potentially a new range below 54 as it finally breaks through that support there well, that's it for today friday the 5th of november i hope that's been of some help to you and i look forward to talking to you again soon